Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other health care practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures if you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, we are here for you. We want to be your go-to source for all things health and nutrition. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, if you're dealing with a health challenge or a loved one is dealing with a health challenge you need help with, 844-236-6010 is our number. And, of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products that you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, you can call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or you can purchase longevity products right off our websites and blogs, criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, and brightsideben.com. And, of course, you can sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team off the websites. For a one-time $25 fee, you can start a longevity business and earn a living or make some spare change, make some lunch money, make as little or as much money as you want. You're the boss. This is your business for a one-time $25 fee. You start a business. It's not for everybody, certainly not for everybody, but if you are entrepreneurially minded, if you're business minded, if you want to have your own business, if you want to enjoy all the tax benefits associated with your own business, if you want to enjoy all the scheduling benefits associated with having your own business, if you want to work from home, this is a business for you. You can help change lives and you can help make money at the same time, and I can help you do it. I can help you build your business. I can help you with your clients. Please call Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 for more, more information or sign up right off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, welcome back to the show. Welcome back to The Bright Side. I want to continue talking for a little bit about the skin, about the relationship between the skin and the connective tissue. We've spent lots of time talking about the connective tissue. The connective tissue is our body within a body. It's the body underneath the apparent body that we have. And if you've seen the so-called bodies exhibit, you know what I'm talking about. It's the, it's the belts and the bands and the webs that hold everything in place underneath the body, but it's much more than that. The connective tissue feeds all of the cells of the body. It nourishes all the cells of the body, oxygenates, detoxifies all the cells of the body when we're sick, when, we're not, uh, when our skin is not looking as good as it should. A lot of this has to do with the fact that our connective tissue is just not doing its business. Now, the skin is really important because... It's hard to believe, but we care more about our skin than we do about the inside of our body because everybody sees our skin. You know, it's like the skin is how we judge each other. So there's something very special about the skin, and there's something very egregious about manipulating people's vanities and people's ideas about skin health. And this is, this is a large part of where we spend our health dollars is on our appearance, on our skin. Billions of dollars a year are spent on skin care, and for the most part, we don't really know what we're doing. And this is a very important subject. I'm speaking here as somebody who's been involved in the world of skincare for going on uh, 35 years. 
since 1982. That's when I first started working in the skincare business for the Blistex Corporation, and I've been involved in it since then as a researcher, as a compounding pharmacist, as a therapist, as a formulator, as an educator, and as a business person. I've sold millions of dollars of my formulations, and I know of, which I sp of what I speak when it comes to skincare. And I'm telling you, folks, our misunderstanding of the skin is manipulated at every turn, and we spend billions of dollars in, in wasted money on products that just sit in our bathrooms and we never use. Our lack of understanding about how the skin works and its relationship to the look of the skin, the, the relationship between the mechanics of the skin and its appearance is exploited by bookkeepers and marketers and bankers and advertisers and celebrities. And unfortunately, I'm sad to say, even skincare professionals and dermatologists and doctors who don't understand how the skin works. If you've been listening to this program for the last couple of weeks or months, or if you've been listening to me for the last couple of decades or three decades, you know more about the skin than most skincare professionals or many skincare professionals. And this is a very important subject, number one, because we spend a lot of money and we spend a lot of time and we get frustrated. But even more importantly, and this is, this is really the important reason why we want to understand the skin and understand the relationship between the skin and the connective tissue, because you see, skin diseases and skin condition and skin appearance can be used as a diagnostic tool. We can interpret, if we speak the language of the skin, if we understand the language of the skin, we can use the skin to assess internal problems. If we understand the skin, we can interpret what's happening in ways that can save our life. And this is so important. If we think that our skin condition is about the surface and we don't make the connection, no, no pun intended, between the skin and the connective tissue, we are going to miss. We are going to throw away an important part, an important piece of information, important data that can stave off a heart attack, that can stave off strokes, that can stave off cancers, and that can ultimately kill us. If we don't understand the skin, we are missing a golden opportunity to understand the inside of our body. Yesterday we talked to a guy named Jim at the end of the program. Jim uh, called, he's, he's called a couple of times, he's, he may be listening, and I don't mean to pick on you Jim here, but this is very important. Jim had a condition that he was calling pityriasis rosacea. All right, pityriasis rosacea, as the name implies, rosacea means red. It's just this red kind of, it's a condition where you have these red lesions on the skin. All right, he doesn't actually have, Jim sent me some pictures yesterday, and I talked to him at length on the phone. Jim uh, doesn't have pityriasis rosacea, rosacea. What he has is a very, and I mean very with a capital V, severe case of atopic dermatitis or eczema. And I know this by looking at his pictures. And I mean this is severe. This is one of the more severe cases. It's not the most severe case that I've ever seen. I've seen it worse, but it is really bad. And here's the thing. Jim has been going to dermatologists, and Jim has been soaking himself in moisturizers, and Jim has been going to skincare professionals, and 99.9% .9 of people who look at Jim's condition will think it's a skin condition. If, you, if you're listening to this program and you, you don't have an understanding of what I'm talking about, or you're just tuning in for the first time, you would be the same way. You look at his condition, and it absolutely looks like it is a skin condition. But here's the thing. The surface of the skin depends on the connective tissue. The skin cells at the surface are fed by the connective tissue. The skin cells at the surface are oxygenated by the connective tissue. The skin cells at the surface are detoxified by the connective tissue. And when that connective tissue breaks down, when that connective tissue becomes toxic, when that connective tissue doesn't have the nutrients it needs, the skin cells at the top are going to be dysfunctional. They're not going to grow correctly. It's going to look like eczema. It's going to look like a rash. It's going to look like the surface of the skin is breaking down and you can see underneath the surface. And this is exactly what Jim has. And it looks like just really, really bad dry skin or it looks like really, really bad eczema. And so Jim goes to the dermatologist and he gets steroid creams. And he, there was actually a doctor who was gonna give him Accutane. Unbelievable. All right, we'll finish this up when we come back from our break. I think it's a super duper important subject and it's a lot more, has a lot more to do uh, than, just, uh, than just beauty and appearance. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We will return right after this. All right, we're back. 
back on the bright side. Got lines open at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, skin health issues, formulations, ingredients, something you may have heard about, read about, a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, and we love talking to our smart listeners. If you guys are listening to this program, if you've been listening to this program for any length of time, you are smarter than the average bear, as, uh, as Yogi would say. I don't dumb things down on this program. I treat you with respect. I want you to understand how the human body works. I want you to understand how your health challenges work so you can doctor yourself. We shouldn't need to go outside of ourselves to deal with our health issues. Once we understand how the body is put together, we can doctor ourselves. The word doctor means educator, and that's what this show is about. It's about education. It's about being more intelligent, and my mission in life is to make you smarter. So at the end of a program, you are smarter than you were at the beginning of the program. 844-236-6010 is our number. We do have lines open for you. If you're interested in checking out our longevity products, head over to criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, or brightsideben.com. And speaking of the skin, if you want to check out our Truth Skin Health products, our connective tissue building Truth Skin Health products, that, that's the truth. That's what the truth is all about. It's about driving the production of connective tissue. Up regulation, my favorite word in all of biochemistry, up regulation to stimulate the secretion of collagen, to stimulate the secretion of connective tissue goo, hyaluronic acid, out of the fibroblasts. You don't want to put collagen on your skin. You don't want to put hyaluronic acid on your skin. You want to make your own. And that's what the truth is all about. Check out our, all our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, so yesterday we talked to a guy named Jim on the air, and I talked to him later on in the day. He sent me some pictures. Uh, Jim, if you look at his skin, uh, if you, if you uh, look at the pictures anyway, you'll see a severe, severe case of eczema, a severe, severe case of skin dryness. It looks, it's really bad. But here's the thing. Jim doesn't have a skin problem. And he, when he goes to the dermatologist, the dermatologist doesn't know what to do because he's a skin doctor. And so he just gives, he just suggests steroid creams. Do you know that if you have 90, 99% of the time, if you have some kind of skin rash, you're going to get a steroid cream, and it's been that way for 50 or 60 years. The same dumb medication, triamcinolone, beta-methasone, Kenalog, you get the same darn steroid creams that you do today that you did 50 or 60 years ago because they don't know what to do because it's not a skin problem. It's a connective tissue problem. Jim doesn't have a skin issue, and he could take a bath in moisturizer and sit in his moisturizer for 24 hours, and it's not going to make a wits bit of difference. And there's nothing the dermatologist can do because he's a skin doctor. He doesn't understand the inside of the body, and that's why he gives him, he suggests steroid creams and, and Accutane, unbelievably Accutane. I couldn't believe it when Jim told me this. Accutane is an acne medicine that shuts down the production of skin lipids, of moisturizers, skin fats. You would, this is what the doctor suggested that, or recommended uh, for Jim. Anyway, the epidermis depends on the dermis. The dermis is the connective tissue. If you hear the word dermis, that's the connective tissue in the skin. The dermis is a synonym for skin connective tissue, and the surface of the skin that we see, the epidermis, the surface of the skin is dependent on the connective tissue, which oxygenates it, which nourishes it, and detoxifies it. And the connective tissue is the great dumping ground of blood toxicity. Remember, all disease is cell disease. All cell disease is, prece is preceded by dirty blood. The connective tissue is where, <coughs> excuse me, is where the dirt from the blood gets dumped. And so if you have a condition like Jim has, you have a connective tissue problem, and this is why this is serious. This is why this is more than cosmetic. You see, if his connective tissue, or if your connective tissue is breaking down in the skin, all your connective tissue is breaking down. It doesn't just selectively affect the dermis. Connective tissue deterioration affects the entire system. That means that if you have an, a superficial or apparently superficial skin problem, you're running higher risk for heart disease, you're running higher risk for a heart attack, you're running higher risk for strokes, you're running higher risk for clotted blood, not to mention organ failure, not to mention chronic fatigue, not to mention depression and mental health issues, all of which are linked to accumulated toxicity in the connective tissue. So Jim, poor guy, 
He thinks it's a skin problem. He goes from dermatologist to dermatologist, and he suffers. And let me tell you, this is a miserable thing to have to suffer with. But all you got to do is work on the connective tissue. So, of course, when I'm talking to Jim, I'm saying, well, do you have any, any kind of digestive health issues? Of course he does. He says, yeah, I do. I've had a normal bowel movement in, in decades. Of course he has an internal problem. You can't have a connective tissue issue without having dirty blood, and you can't have dirty blood unless you're sticking stuff in through your, injecting it through your skin, unless you have a digestive issue. So when Jim starts working on his connective tissue with bone broth, with vitamin C, with bone broth protein, with the amino acids in bone broth, including glycine, which is a spectacular amino acid, with uh, digestive support strategies, fasting, elimination diet, nightly essence. Do you hear anything here about a skin cream? Do you hear anything here about a steroid cream? When Jim starts approaching this as a connective tissue problem, not only will his skin look better, but he will be reducing the likelihood of a heart attack, a stroke. He'll be increasing the odds that he has a long, healthy life and doesn't have to deal with some kind of horrible health event in the future. Yesterday, I saw a commercial for this, for, uh, for turkey neck. Turkey neck is another connective tissue problem. If you don't know what it is, it's as some people get older, not everybody, but as some people get older, the connective tissue becomes lax in the neck. And so doctors and dermatologists and skincare professionals and lay people, all of them, will think that, oh, I'm going to rub a cream on my turkey neck and, and my turkey neck will, it will disappear. Yesterday I saw a commercial for Dr. Paracone's cold laser for turkey neck. Cold laser is some kind of cream he's selling. Or a cold, uh, I think it's called a cold laser. Cold plasma. I forgot what he called it. It's an infomercial. So you got all these movie stars and you got all these people saying, oh, I hate my turkey neck, but Dr. Paracone's cream, it made my turkey neck better. And then you have Dr. Paracone show people the difference between people or the difference before and after the cream. And there's a tiny little bit of difference maybe. So what is this miracle cream? It's vitamin C with a little minerals. Same, same silliness that we've been selling for 150 years in the skincare world. It's water with a little vitamin C and a little bit of minerals and a bunch of wax and preservative. And it's $150 an ounce. So if you want to spend your money on this stuff, that's fine. If you want to spend your money on Cindy Crawford or Dr. Savak or Dr. Pericone or any other infomercial product, that's fine. The real issue here is not snake oil. It's not marketing, which has always polluted the world of skincare since the days of Helena Rubinstein in the 1920s and 1930s. That's not, that's not the point. The point is that turkey neck is a connective tissue problem. Eczema, psoriasis, these are connective tissue problems. Aging skin, wrinkles, fine lines, these are connective tissue problems. And if you have them, you don't have a skin issue, you're at higher risk for a stroke, you're at higher risk for arthritis, you're at higher risk for joint problems, you're at higher risk for kidney disease, you're at higher risk for accelerated aging, you're at higher risk for cancer. This is the gift of the skin. It's a diagnostic tool that shows us what's happening inside the body. If you speak skin, you understand, understand skin, you now have a diagnostic, diagnostic tool that's telling you what's happening inside the body. If we listen, the skin is not a canvas for adornment or a superficial covering. It's a fully fledged organ of the body, resilient as it is, flexible as it is, forgiving as it is. It is a portal to the inside of our bodies whose information can save our lives. And on top of all that, it is an electrical generator like all connective tissue. And we'll continue this when we come back from our break. And take your phone calls as well. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back. The Side Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. Hang tight if you're on hold. We'll get to you momentarily. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, including our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, if you're dealing with acne blemishes or you want to prevent acne blemishes, or if you uh, have thinning skin, aging skin, wrinkled skin, you want to prevent the formation of fine lines and wrinkles, retinol is your go-to. Retinol and vitamin C are the only two active ingredients that have been definitively and repeatedly shown to have anti-aging uh, anti -aging effects for the skin and connective tissue building effects on the skin. This is not just a skin issue, as we've been saying. This is a health issue. The more connective tissue you have, the more electrical energy can flow through the skin. 
The more connective tissue you have, the more electrical energy can flow through the body. Remember, the connective tissue is electrical. It's our electrical wiring. And at the end of the day, we are electrical beings more than we are chemical beings. Chemistry works via electricity. Electricity is fundamental. And connective tissue is our electrical wiring. Use retinol, use vitamin C. And our Truth Retinol 5% gel has both retinol and vitamin C and a lot of both. Because it's about the dosage. It's not just about the name. A lot of products will have names. A lot of products will show off their ingredients. But it's about the dosage. you got to have enough of this stuff to make a difference. And that's what the truth is all about. High doses of your most important and most powerful and most effective active ingredients. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, water, oil, silicon, nothing. Your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our truth skin health products. 844-236-6010 is our, is our number on the bright side. We'll get to here. We'll get your calls in uh, just a sec, so hang tight. From the Public Library of Science, study reveal or study finds association between eating hot peppers and decreased mortality. Love this. Love hot peppers. We used to use hot pepper cream in the pharmacy, and if you're dealing with topical pain or, or surface pain like uh, joint problems, or I don't want to say surface, but if you're dealing with any kind of pain, uh, joint pain or, or the pain associated with the herpes virus, shingles pain, hot pepper capsation is the active ingredient in hot pepper cream. Oil of capsicum or capsation, they call it, is amazingly effective for relieving pain. It can help... Uh, uh, defuse or detour pain signals so you don't feel the pain. That's how hot pepper cream works. You can get a product called Zostrix, Z-O-S-T-R-I-X, at Walgreens or at most drugstores. It turns out that when you eat hot peppers, at least according to this study, you'll live longer. Hot peppers are uh, a source of vitamin C, one of nature's best sources of vitamin C. And hot peppers also have a stimulating effect. And eating a little bit of hot pepper before you start your meals can have a nice stimulating effect on digestive juices. This is an article that was published in the Public Library of Science uh, using data that was uh, collected from the National Health and Nutritional Examination Survey, survey the so-called NHANES study. Okay, let's see here. Oh, I'll, uh, let's see. I'll, one more, I'm going to read one more article here, and then we'll get your calls. Love this one. This is uh, from Massachusetts General Hospital, published in the science in the journal Science Translational Medicine. Human amyloid acts as a natural antibiotic in the brain. That is, Alzheimer's associated amyloid plaques are natural antibiotics. And this is so important because you got doctors and you got drug companies talking about how bad amyloid is if you're dealing with dementia. Amyloid is nothing more than a fiber, a connective tissue fiber, a repair fiber. And now you've got drug companies trying to come up with vaccines against amyloid. They want to prevent your body or prevent your brain from producing this stuff. Amyloid, uh, people have Alzheimer's disease, have these plaques that form in the brain. Nobody's thinking to ask, why is amyloid in the brain, uh, amyloid plaques, why is the brain accumulating these plaques? Why does the brain accumulate amyloid? That should be the question we ask. If you got Alzheimer's dementia, if you got accumulation of amyloid, well, that's the body trying to repair something. It's a repair mechanism, and it's an antibiotic. It's a natural, uh, a natural component of the immune system. It's brain immunity. Alzheimer's disease is an connect- uh, inflammatory condition. It's not quite a connective tissue problem, but the brain has its own version of connective tissue called glia. Glia isn't exactly connective tissue, but it feeds the cells like connective tissue does. And Alzheimer's disease is basically deteriorating glia as is Parkinson's disease for that matter, and then the body comes along and tries to patch things up with amyloid, and your brilliant doctor will say, well, you got too much amyloid, so we gotta figure this out, and we're gonna get a vaccine, and that's gonna prevent the amyloid. Amyloid is a protective mechanism. The body's not stupid. We're stupid, humans are stupid, but the body is definitely, definitely not stupid. All right, 844-236-6010, welcome to the Bright Side, Jennifer in Alabama, good morning. Good morning, and it's a blessing to be able to talk to you today. Um, Thank you. Pharmacist Ben, I listen to you a good bit. Um, my question, um, the a friend of mine's daughter has been diagnosed with uh, Ehlers Danlos yes. Syndrome. Yes, and uh, my four-year-old daughter is exhibiting some of the, the way it's presenting in my friend's daughter it seems my, my daughter, is presi- she hasn't officially same. diagnosed, I have to say that, but I just noticed yesterday that she's exhibiting some of the same double jointedness in the fingers and, okay. um, and uh, 
and the, the flexibility of the arms that you can pull. The How old is your in. daughter? How old is your daughter? She's, she's a little less than four and a half years old. And so okay. this is just a new revelation as of yesterday. But so I've been doing a good bit of research on it just you know, over the last day. Uh, and when I saw that it's a connective uh, tissue disorder, I remembered recently hearing you speak about that this on your show because I've been, recently been t- tuning in. Uh, okay. Are you, you a new listener? Are you a new listener? Uh, for, for, for listening to you actually on the bright side, uh, fairly new to that, but I've heard you uh, speak on, uh, for instance, like Coast to Coast. Okay, got uh, it. By the way, I'm going to be on Coast to Coast tomorrow. Podcast. I'm going to be doing Coast to Coast tomorrow night, too. So if anybody excellent, out there wants to check excellent. it in. So I'll be talking to yeah. George. Okay, let's talk about Ehlers-Danlos. First of all, there's no disease called Ehlers-Danlos. It's Ehlers-Danlos. That's spelled E-H-L-E-R-S-D-A-N-L-O-S for the listeners. Ehlers-Danlos is a, it's a group of diseases, and it's all lumped together. They're all connective tissue disorders, okay? So you're right on, and uh, everything we've been talking about applies to your daughter, applies to your friend. You don't want to get, we don't want to get diluted or, de, uh, or uh, confused or distracted by the names of these things. Doctors love to name things, classification. The World Health Organization has literally 12,000 plus classifications of diseases. But they don't matter. They're just ways of coding you into the computer. They're just ways that the doctor can go to this little book and see what you do for Ehlers-Danlos, which is nothing, by the way. There's nothing they could do. Nothing because it is a connective tissue problem that is secondary to something getting into the blood. Now, your daughter's four and a half, right? She has to have a history of some kind of digestive health issues or some other- She's had constipation issues. Hello, that's what I'm telling you. I'm telling you this. You guys, this is so fundamental because you say, oh, I've got Ehlers-Danlos. What the heck do you do with Ehlers-Danlos? It's just a word. I don't know. You know, you're you're smart, Jennifer. You've done some research, but most people say, what do I do with Ehlers-Danlos? You don't have Ehlers-Danlos. Nobody has Ehlers-Danlos. It's just a classification so you can be put in the computer and you can be billed and you can be named and you can be, have a, get a t-shirt and a hat that says, I have Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, and then you can race for the Ehlers-Danlos syndrome cure. But as far as health goes, fix the connective tissue, which means fix the digestive system. We're going to take care of both your daughter and your friend here when we come back from our break. So don't go away, Jennifer. Thank you, Ben. Okay. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this. Right side, pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Jennifer in Alabama about Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, which is a connective tissue disease. There's Actually, there's no disease called Ehlers-Danlos. There's a whole bunch of different diseases that get lumped into the name or lumped into the classification of Ehlers-Danlos. I'm, I'm interested. Uh, I'll help you out here, and we'll definitely get you some ideas, Jennifer, for you and your, for your daughter and your friend. But I'm interested. Uh, what did you find out? Tell me what you... Uh, what was the bottom line? What are some of the take-home messages that you got from the research that you did? Just, just real quickly. Well, uh, just the first several searches that came up online, uh, it was all telling me it was genetic, and I dug a little deeper because I listened to, you know, uh, another one of your colleagues, a good bit, who talks about uh, nutritional deficiencies being the root to pretty much all diseases. So, dug a little deeper. Did happen to see some people that said that um, you know they it, they were helped by some nutritional supplementation, and when I saw connectivity issues, uh, you know uh, I was like ding ding ding. You know, pharmacist Ben Keeks has talked about this, so I, I knew I had to call in and, and talk to you and get your take on okay, it. Okay, good. All right, here's the deal: you got your daughter and your friend have a connective tissue uh, issue. Their connective tissue is deteriorating. Whether or not it's genetic is irrelevant, and that's a whole other story. The fact of the matter is, is you've got to start working on two. You got to start doing, uh, working from two directions, as you do with any kind of degenerative issue. The first direction is going to be to eliminate toxicity. The connective tissue is where the blood dumps off toxins. The blood 
blood itself becomes toxic through the digestive tract, through the intestine. So that leaky gut is what they call it. It doesn't matter what they call it. Just think of digestive toxicity going into the blood. From the blood, those toxins get dumped into the connective tissue. You, uh, I've yet to hear of a case of Ehlers-Danlos or any other connective tissue problem that doesn't have a digestive health issue associated with it work on the gut. That means for your daughter and your, and your friend, uh, you want to link digestive issues to foods. Now, your daughter gets constipated. Was she breastfed, by the way? Yes. Okay. The, for how long? Um, like a, the full, huh. like a year, two years, kind of thing, or just uh, briefly? Years, years. Okay. Good. Okay. Do you, <laughs> yeah. do you, my dear Jennifer, do you have digestive health issues? Do you have any kind of health conditions? Any long-term, I, health, I, any chronic I, conditions? I, 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 I do suspect that I have leaky gut, sir. Um, okay. I might need to. I might want to call in on another time and address okay. that. Uh, okay, that's that's not neither neither here nor there, but that's that could be the call, the beginning of the problem for your daughter because if you had issues with blood toxicity, it would be in your breast milk, so she would have issues. And if you had issues when she when you were pregnant, that could be that could have affected her development in the womb. So what you want to do is you want to be very very attentive and be very vigilant to digestive symptomology and link her digestive symptoms, her constipation. She's got to have other issues too, digestive issues as well. Find them, link them to problem foods, eliminate those foods. That's step number one always. Number two, you want to start, start supporting her gut with uh, things like probiotics, uh, digestive enzymes, um, apple cider vinegar perhaps, although that's not as quite as important for little kids, but that might help be helpful. Fermented foods, if she'll eat fermented foods, whey protein, bone soup, chicken soup, aloe vera, liquid aloe vera, maybe a teaspoon of aloe vera every day. Focus on gut health. You will notice an immediate difference, immediate, once you start to correct your digestive health issues. The next thing is you want to make sure she's getting enough protein for building the joints, particularly cartilage kinds of protein, like our bone broth protein. Go to brightsidehealth.com, get the chocolate uh, flavored. Kids love chocolate. Everybody loves chocolate, but kids especially. And the bone broth protein is delicious. Make, make her smoothies with oil and egg and bone broth protein and have her just call it a milkshake for her. All right, just water, okay. uh, Udo's blend oil or coconut oil, and actually both. Crack an egg in there and some bone broth protein. It'll be delicious. You can throw in a couple of frozen uh, organic cherries if you like and make it t a tasty. Say we're going to have a milkshake. Give it to her once or twice a day. It'll help her grow better. It'll help her develop, uh, develop better. And it'll also help her connective tissue. Of course, chicken soup is also great. Uh, that's homemade chicken soup I'm talking about. Make sure she's getting enough vitamin C. Vitamin C is vitamin connective tissue. Vitamin C is vitamin CT. And I, you know, I've said that before. I'll continue to say it. You cannot make connective tissue without vitamin C. High doses, although not all at once because you can get, she can get a little crampy or bloaty. For, uh, any, everybody can get a little crampy or bloaty from vitamin C. Make sure she's on the, uh, her and her friend I should, and your friend are also doing uh, the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. Have her sipping on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, your friend as well. And also the Healthy Start Pack, the Ultimate EFAs, and Essential Fatty Acids are also important for connective tissue. Don't forget your minerals, particular, particular particularly zinc, 50 milligrams a day of zinc picolinate for your friend, for your daughter, maybe 10 or 15 or 20 milligrams a day of zinc picolinate. That's the best form of zinc. And then uh, you might, might also want to try to throw in a little of the uh, branched chain amino acids, which you can get in supplemental form. That is by no means comprehensive, but that'll give you a, a good starting point. Uh, if you want to throw a couple more things in there, vitamin E can be very helpful for protecting the connective tissue as an antioxidant, 400 IU for your friend a day, and then maybe, I don't know, 50 to 100 IU a day for your, for your child. I hope that helps, Jennifer, and thanks for your research. Appreciate it, and uh, that's the way you want to do things. You want to doctor yourself. You want to educate yourself. I hope I helped you. Anything else you want to add? Thank you. Uh, a, a naturopath said that uh, they tested her, said she has uh, an enzyme deficiency, uh, a problem digesting protein. Do you have any thoughts on that? Yes. Possibly Make a separate issue? That's no, it's the same issue. That she has a problem digesting. She's not digesting yeah. her food. When she doesn't digest protein, uh, byproducts or, or un, un, incompletely digested proteins called peptides. Proteins are supposed to get broken down into amino acids, but when they're not broken down completely, they remain kind of uh, strings of amino acids. Those are called peptides. Those leak into the blood and they initiate immune reactions. That's basically. 
Well, I don't want to say basically. That's a major part of the toxicity of foods is related to incompletely digested proteins. And this is true for anybody who's got an autoimmune disease, anybody who's got a food issue, look to incompletely digested proteins. You can use papaya, uh, either straight papaya or papaya enzyme with your, with your proteins. Uh, also, uh, kiwi contains uh, proteolytic or protein digesting protein digesting enzymes and so does a uh, pineapple so have her do some raw pineapple before her protein or some some papi, uh, some papaya before her protein or get her to, if she can take swallow pills the ultimate enzymes all right i hope i helped you jennifer one. take care god bless you too thank you right. you too bye-bye all right john in texas good morning how you doing john i'm doing well what's going on how can we help you um I'm having about six months, haven't started off with a hip, and then it went down into my legs and both hips, um, extreme pain all the way down to my calves. Well, that's not good, John. How old are you, John? 68. Okay, good. So I need you to speak into the phone because I'm having a little bit of a hard time hearing you. Whenever you have pain in the joints that's just unexplained and it runs head to toe, I, I hate to be, keep repeating myself, but your first thing you want to do is focus on the connective tissue. Why? Because the connective tissue is like a shrink wrap for our insides. And as we get older, the connective, if we're not taking care of ourselves, the connective tissue tends to shrink even tighter. If we're dehydrated, if we're not getting enough water or, uh, or, or, well, if we're not getting enough water or if we don't have enough, we're not making enough connective tissue, this can exacerbate the problem. If the connective tissue becomes toxic, that makes matters even, or, or compounds the problem even worse. So you want to focus on shrinking connective tissue when you have muscle pain or joint pain that runs head to toe. Now, if you want some instant relief or quick relief, get some body work done or uh, do yoga or stretch exercises, especially first thing in the morning when the connective tissue tends to be excessively dehydrated or excessively tight. Do you notice that you feel, do you notice you feel more pain first thing in the morning, by the way, or after you've been laying down? Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I that's, well. that's that, exactly what I'm talking about. The connective tissue is shrinking up. It's shriveling. So uh, stretching exercises, yoga exercises, body work like rolfing, that can give you some immediate help. But for more long-term help, you're going to want, or more long-term uh, benefits, you're going to want to build the connective tissue with bone broth, bone broth protein, vitamin C, glucosamine. I forgot to mention glucosamine, by the way, for, uh, for Jennifer, if you're still listening. Glucosamine, the glucogel caps uh, can be helpful. High aluronic acid capsules, 100 to 200 milligrams a day, that can be helpful for you. You're basically dealing with the same problem that Jennifer had with our last caller. So um, I don't want to belabor the point because we went over it with Jennifer. So if you could listen to the archives, that would help you. Focus on your connective tissue. True for anybody who's got joint problems, muscle problems, chronic pain problems. And I absolutely love and highly recommend body work for everybody. You know what? If we really cared about health in this country, we would have national massage insurance where every American gets two massages a month. And that's where our tax dollars should be spent, not on drugs and not on surgeries and not on doctors. And that's the kind of Obamacare we need. That's bright side care. Two massages a month for every American. How do you like that? All right. I'm Pharmacist oh, Ben. Thanks great. for listening to the bright side. John, we, we're out of time, buddy. We only got a few more seconds. Thanks for your call. Uh, take care, everybody. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.